this is my invention, the Tactical Magnetic Keeper. Today at this range, I'm going to show you different functions and what this is good for. We're going to commence with a one-handed shoot. Traditional training teaches us if we have one handed, one hand down, this hand's been shot, to come out with our weapon, and once the action is, once the magazine has been spent, traditional training has taught us to put the, the weapon back in the holster, come out with a fresh magazine, pop it in, and let the slide go forward. Also, traditional training has taught us to put the gun between our knees. Pop a fresh magazine out, pop it in, come out with the weapon, and let the slide go forward. Now, that works, but with the Tactical Magnetic Keeper, we can actually get back into the fight a lot quicker. And this is the demonstration. That's how the one-handed shoot with the Technical Magnetic Keeper works. Now, traditional training also teaches us when performing a magazine exchange. What is a magazine exchange? A magazine exchange is when you're in the fight and all of a sudden there's a law in the fight and you want to change that magazine for a fresh magazine. Traditional training teaches us to take the old magazine out and put it in a pocket. Not in your magazine holder, but in a pocket and you can later come back to those two or three rounds that are in that magazine. Instead of putting it in a pocket, we can place it on the tactical magnetic keeper. Here's a demonstration. We're going to assume that this magazine is fully loaded. As you can see, a lot less time to get back into the law to the fight. Instead of fussing around putting this somewhere else, I was able to just place it there keep shooting. Now for the third demonstration. If you have a, a knife which is not assisted in the back and you have one hand down and you need to bring the blade out and you can't because you've been shot, you can put the blade on the keeper, open it up and you're ready to go. For the fourth demonstration we have a tactical light. When moving around with your gun in darkness, you have your light on and you go into light. Instead of fussing around where to put the light, you just put it on the keeper, get back into the fight. If you go back into darkness, grab your light and you have it there. This tactical magnetic keeper is cutting time for the officer or for the weapons operator. Now, the fifth demonstration. Traditional training teaches when you have your baton and the assailant comes out with a weapon to throw the baton away and come out with your gun. With the tactical magnetic keeper, you don't have to throw your baton away. When you throw your baton away, you're giving, a, you're giving this weapon to somebody else. So, if you are with your baton, and your assailant comes out with a weapon, you just simply put it on the keeper and come out with your gun. Shoot and get your, get your baton back. Now for the sixth demonstration. Handcuffs. Traditionally, 
uh, undercover officers like to wear their handcuffs loose in the back. Now, this poses some problems. These cuffs can be taken from them, or in a scuffle, in a fight, they can fall, fall out or fall inside the pants. With the keeper, assuming that the keeper is back here, they can stick here and stick in the back. The keeper also has a magnet in the back. The officer needs his, his handcuffs. All he does is pull on the chain and they're ready to go. Okay, another function the tactical magnetic keeper has is holding the handcuff key. Traditional training tells us that when we have handcuffs on, a, on an individual, we come out with the key. And this individual, as we're going to place the handcuffs, could start fighting. If that's the case, instead of throwing the key away or possibly losing it or trying to get it back on your clip so you can have it, when you cuff this individual again, all you do is just place it on the keeper and it'll stay there, as you can see. Same thing when, an, when somebody, you're clearing, you have your gun on an assailant and you take the assailant's weapon. Traditional training teaches you to clear the weapon and then place it in the small of your back, which is fine. But if you have one gun on the assailant and the cleared gun back here and you're trying to find the small of your back, that's a bit uncomfortable and it is dangerous. And instead of doing that, all you do is have your gun on the assailant, grab the cleared gun, and you keep your sights on, on the assailant without having to worry. Now, there are people that like to carry their gun in the small of their back. That also poses the same problem as the handcuffs. The gun can fall out or it can fall inside the pants. How can we avoid that? Just place the gun behind the tactical magnetic keeper and it won't move. The, the magnet will keep it there, but it'll still come out. But it will be in place. As you can see, the tactical magnetic keeper can hold the gun. Now, for the last demonstration, this is a, a Glock 19. The keeper holds it with no problem. You can move around and the gun doesn't move around. You can back up here. You can have the keeper all around your belt. But the, key, the tactical uh, magnetic keeper will keep it in place. Once you're ready to fight, you come out and you shoot. And that's the tactical magnetic keeper. Thank you.